Nation, K Geek X X Chic. We're back with another reaction to Motherland. We're now on to episode nine, which is called Coop. So, last episode was pretty darn interesting, if you ask me. We had the girls go through their first actual exercise, which turned into a true military mission. And while they were successful, we ended up losing some people. And just the whole experience of that exercise, along with just a lot of other factors, all three of the girls are really starting to reconsider what's going on in the military and kind of really wondering what it is that they signed up for. They're starting to realize that Alder is keeping secrets, that she's lying to the public. And I think they're also picking up the fact that some of their superiors are not really feeling the same faith and blind loyalty to Alder that they might maybe expected them to. So the girls are definitely dealing with a lot of complicated feelings around basically their future in the military and what they should do about it. Let's get into this episode. We're not going to know what kind of spurs this on or where it's going to go until we watch the episode. Before we jump in, if you've been here before and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you have notifications for every time I upload these videos about this show or anything else that you might like that I put out there. Join the family. You know we'd love to have you here. Just, just do it. Commit. You know you want to. All right. Without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. By the way, it's super loud out, or it's really windy outside right now, so you might hear some wind from time to time. I want to put out there once again that these girls should have body armor. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Sorry, we lost a lot of light all of a sudden. It's very rainy. Uh oh. Bloody handprints are not the way to go. That's that's a warning to turn the other direct. Okay. Oh, it's put in the Pentagon. Okay, you know, Riches would definitely not have done that. We were used, Tally. No. That's exactly what happened. We were used. And Libba paid the ultimate price. Ma'am, do you not understand what a soldier is? Because that's kind of what you do. You get used by the military. I wanted to see if the methods were the same. Aping our ancient manners is a new thrill. This way, nothing more. Their methods were identical. That kind of hatred no longer festers in the world. I rooted out the last remaining Camarilla over 200 years ago. Right. Because an idea way. dies with people. Real enemy. No. I can handle President Wade. Can you? you dismissed. Just keep setting fire to all them bridges, Alder. I have terrible news. I'm sorry to say that more of your people have been murdered. You may stop. Thank you. We already know. Yeah, we're smarter than you. I intend to intervene immediately. Please don't. I plan to appeal to the president. That will not be necessary. Exactly. You're useless. Goodbye. They there will be no more world to fight over. What I'm offering is the preservation of your people. At what price? Exactly. General I'm trying to eat my food and you making me nauseous. Poor boy's like, can I just get some lunch? Watch yourself. You watch yourself. I'm a child. What's wrong with you? Thank you. Get out my room. Not you. Exactly. <laughs> ah, the smile. I love this girl. The way she has owned Alder in literally two minutes. I can't. And then she just goes back to eating breakfast anyway. Elizabeth Kane Swythe was the girl I hated most in the world. Let her finish. Kanye moment, let her finish. I pulled her hair, made her eat a piece of dead pigeon. I took her men, ate them whole, and spit them out at her feet. I called her name so foul. They They're like, this is the worst eulogy ever. <laughs> May the goddess bless you. May the goddess bless this country that you served so well. That's real. 
That was a real speech. None of this duty honor. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. You're a leader. You're a natural born leader. And I would follow you anywhere. You're a warrior queen. Okay, well. <laughs> You're a priestess of ancient truth. Facts. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> but there's also a humanitarian imperative. I forbid your intervention in this matter. Boom! I must enough. That's all you want. I said no. Thank you, exactly. His back. You cows. You have nerve. I have to make tough choices every day. So do I, General Walter. So do I. And yep. you've made the next one easy for me. Because I've just learned that you've allowed your Fort Salem to be infiltrated by the spree. Oh! No hisses? No clicks? We have ever handled the opera. You are the 45th president I have served. And no American deserves their retirement. More. <laughs> she just called you old. I'm sorry. I'll go. Stay right where you are. I mean. Tell you what. Give me 10 in the shower and I'll join you. Let's raise some power. You think you can handle us both? Good. Sweet, you're in a thruple now. Oh. I literally gang. It has to work for her too, right? It doesn't work for me. Tally, I'm married, okay? I did the best I could. You could have told me. I just really didn't think but you slept with him anyway. Shut up, Tally. What way is this? You have no idea who I am. I mean, you all throwing out these whole tendencies. You threw your whole coochie at him when you knew he was married. You can't get on that high house now, girl. I was your sister. I chose you. Instead of them, I chose you. That is the first honest thing you said. That would go with a great pixel. Night night. <laughs> I'm sorry I'd cost you such a badass. Bless this great nation and all who defend her. No one will figure out that you did that at some point. I mean, okay. Sorry guys, my camera died, so had to take a little break there. Gonna jump right back in. <sighs> Yikes. Whatever you said in motion with Petra left you in the alternative. Can't you follow this back to us? We're all in grave danger. So now would be a good time to leave? I don't get it. Y'all act like Alden never sleep or nothing. Like, slit the old woman's throat. Set the biddies free. What's wrong with y'all? I joke. Okay, so guys, that was episode 9 of Motherland. And yeah, very interesting. We are starting to see more and more cracks in Alder, which are not surprising to me. I've had my... <laughs> suspicions about that old hag for a minute. Since episode one, really, I've never trusted her. And I'm fairly certain that the actress wanted to make sure that that kind of came through, that she really wasn't just some tough, war-torn veteran, that she really was somebody who, at first, like I said, I, I kind of made the assumption initially that maybe she was trying to protect somebody who is part of Spree, potentially, that maybe she knows who it is. And maybe that's still true. But what's become more apparent in the last few episodes is that she's become very arrogant in her long-standing reign. And this is what happens, right? This is the argument that a lot of people like to throw out there, that if man were immortal, or some people were immortal and others weren't, that the arrogance that they would develop over time would 
eventually make them believe that they knew more or better or had the right to decide for the majority just because they had a lot of years behind them. And we've seen Alder do it over and over and over again. She's disregarding the people around her, expecting absolute utter trust when she's not giving that in return, feeling like she's the only person who knows what's right for everyone. And yes, she's seen a lot in 200 years, but the world is not the same. People don't change that much, it's true, but the world is different. And clearly there are people out there who've been watching Alda just as long. And she thinks she knows everything, but clearly she does not have eyes everywhere. Clearly she does not understand all the things that are going on. And Spree has been two, forget two, 10 steps ahead of her for a while now. And she's still not letting her pride admit, like imagine how different things would be if Alder had just, if she was legitimate, I'm saying, if she was actually legit, which I don't believe she is. Imagine how different things would have been if Alder had just owned up and been like, you know what? I thought I had this. Turns out I don't. Let me use the fresh ingenuity and the strength that I've got in front of me right now to see if I can help figure this out. But she won't do it. She won't let people in. She won't trust them. And unsurprisingly, she's burning all these bridges. Now she's gone and crossed the line that's really unrecoverable. She forced this woman to do something she never would have done. She's broken her faith now. She's basically completely severed any trust that humans will have in her. And to me, it's kind of like the fact that no one, I'm just thinking like how long, right? Like maybe I'm crazy. Like maybe this has some kind of effect on the president, but can the president not just go on the, the, the you know, the airwaves later and be like, oh, excuse me, I have no recollection of what I said on camera. Um, the teleprompter said something different. All my assistants know what my decision was. I was not in my right mind. They're witches. They have the ability to take over. I'm like, why can't she just expose her later? That's what I'm wondering. You know what I'm saying? So, plus, presidents can rescind executive orders. That that's, that's a thing. But again, this is a different world, so maybe. Not to mention, also, presidents can't make executive orders. You actually have to put it through, like, the cabinet and stuff. But anyways, it's a different world, and maybe things are supposed to work differently. But... It was a desperate move by Alder, which means, you know, whenever people act desperately, it means that they are no longer in control. They no longer feel confident even in themselves. Her absolute rule needs to end because it is starting to really hurt the majority. Maybe in the beginning it was different, but clearly things have changed. And even the people who believed in her, like Anacostia, they're all seeing now that, no, this woman has crossed the line. There's something going down with her. She's not doing okay. Does this mean that Alder's all evil and that there's no good to her? No, but I also don't think that she needs to be in power anymore. Things have gone out of control. But yeah, there's just a few things that kind of went wrong in this episode. If you really want to nitpick, I don't know why. the I, Actually, I do know why. The, the president was over Alder and understandably so. But woman, why would you tell a witch and a powerful 200-year-old witch that you about to embarrass her in front of the nation. You don't tell her that, right? You don't tell her and give her all of hours to plan? That was just foolish. I knew that that wasn't gonna happen. As soon as I saw him like that, that speech is not happening. My girl should have just been like, mm, okay, well, let me, she should have just told, let me marinate on it. Let me just take some time and think about what you're saying here, Sarah, okay. And then she should have just made the announcement. That's what she should have done right then, right there. But as soon as she gave her the window to do something stupid, I guess the president was a little arrogant within her own self, but either way, it was a poor plan and I just feel like, you know, if you were dealing with witches who you know have the power to do just about anything, letting them know beforehand that you're about to fire someone that volatile was just a poor decision. But also, if they do let Scylla out at this point, they would potentially have an ally to take Alder down. But I understand that by taking Alder out, there's gonna create a power vacuum as well. She is this symbol for witches and the peace, the very fragile peace that's sitting between humans and witches right now. So taking her out by force could also create a really big mess. So this has kind of become a very complicated and messy situation, which is delicious for the sake of plot. But the fact that we're on episode nine when this happens is a little disturbing. But anyways, clearly I think this means the writers were planning on having multiple seasons of this show, and I've already heard that they have renewed this show, so I'm not that upset about it, but I kind of feel like this is something we could have potentially set seeds for earlier in the season with, but I'm not mad that at least are they're doing something to kind of spice things up. Something's gonna happen with Spree. I know Spree's not done yet. I feel like we're gonna get some kind of a confrontation and it's gonna end up creating a massive split within 
the military and also with the Hague in the military, uh, at least the U.S. military, and I'm definitely here for it. So I really enjoyed this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like what you see and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see ya.